Hey guys, welcome to my How to Play Mermail video. Uh, right now I'm just going to show you the original OTK they had going for them and how they used to work. You would special summon Abyss Megalo by revealing Abyss Megalo in your hand and discarding two water monsters. One would be Atlantean Marksman, who if you sent to the graveyard for a water monster effect would destroy a set card your opponent controls. So you could destroy a face down opponent's monster and Abyss Dragoons. And if it wasn't a face down monster, you would probably discard Atlantean Heavy Infantry, which, if it's set to the graveyard for a water monster effect, would destroy your opponent's face up card. But we'll get to that later, don't worry about it. Uh, when Dragoons is sent to the graveyard for a water monster effect, he searches out a Sea Serpent and adds it to your hand. So you could add Deep Sea Diva from your deck to your hand. Abyss Megalo is now on the field. You would normal summon Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva will special summon a level 3 or lower Sea Serpent when she's normal summoned. You could special summon Atlantean Marksman from your deck. Megalo can attack twice if you tribute a water monster, so you would tribute Diva. If Marksman does battle damage to your opponent, you could special summon a level 4 lower Atlantean Sea Super Monster from your deck. So you'd pick another Dragoons, and this is why this combo is old, because you can't run two Dragoons anymore. It's limited to one. That would be 48, 18, 14, exactly 8,000. Uh, Mermel's basic combos really revolve around Abyss Sphere. Uh, while Abyss Sphere is active, you can activate spell cards while it's face up. Special summon one Mermel from the deck. Destroy it in your opponent's next end phase. And monsters that are special summoned by Abyss Sphere have its effects negated. Uh, if Abyss Sphere gets removed from the field or destroyed, it's like Call of the Hostage will destroy the monster as well. So you use Abyss Sphere with Abyss Lindy. When Lindy is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, she special summons one Mermel from the deck. She can only activate that effect once per turn. And since Sphere only negates the monster while it's face upon the field, Lindy will work in the graveyard. So use Lindy to special summon something with Smegalo. The best play for Mermail is usually turn one or two is to start off with a defensive card, something like Mecha Equipped Anglinear. You can attach a material to select a monster you control, switch it from attach to defense, and it can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects that turn. It's a quick effect, you can use it on either player's turn or to chain to something your opponent does. Armored Kappa, you can detach a material to increase its attack or defense by 1000. If you detach Atlantean Heavy Infantry, a Heavy Infantry's effect will go off destroying an opponent's face up card. Even though something like Sanged wouldn't, Atlantean Infantry doesn't care how it's sent to the graveyard. For a water monster effect, it just has to be sent to the graveyard. Armored Kappa is another ability, you don't have to detach to use this ability. You can discard a card to stop monsters you control from being destroyed by battle or taking life point damage from battle that turn. It's only once per duel. And Abyss, Mermail Abyss Strite needs three level threes to summon. I know, I know, just hold on a second, I'll tell you why. Uh, if you set to the graveyard, you special summon another Mermail from the graveyard with 2800 de defense. It's kind of hard to do. But there's another way to bring him out, thankfully. Otherwise, you wouldn't use him. The other way is Muhammad Shark. It's two level four water monsters. You can attach a material to special summon a rank three or lower water Xyz monster from the extra deck once per turn. You can't attack for the rest of the turn use this effect. So you can attack with him and then in main phase two use that effect. Which in this case we would probably bring out Abyss Strike. I'm not going to go over the rank 7s, they're really easy to do, and yes, Big Eye's not defensive, but again, that's a pretty obvious play, so I'm not going over it in this video. I will go over Abyss Gaios, or Gaia Abyss. Well, he's a rank 7, while this card has Xyz material level 5 or higher, monsters can't attack, and you can attach a material to negate all opponents' monsters' effects on their side of the field on either player's turn. But their attack has to be lower than Abyss Gaios. For his effect to negate hit the effect and he'll only do it with everything currently face up on the field so make sure you be careful now this type decks can primarily be using your water monster effects by discarding them from the hand if atlantean heavy infantry is sent to the graveyard for a water monster effect it destroys one face up card your opponent controls if Abyss Gung is discarded, it doesn't need to be why a water monster effect you'll special summon a water a mermail from the graveyard except for itself so you could discard Abyss Megalo and Abyss Gug for another Abyss Megalo. Abyss Gug will go off of the graveyard and she'll special summon the Megalo you just discarded. 
Well, there you go. Two Megalos on the field for whatever you need. You can discard a water monster to special summon Abyss Dust from your hand. And he'll search out a level 4 lower mermail monster and add it to your hand from your deck. Atlantean Marksman. Uh, here, you have your cards have other abilities as well, which you should definitely take advantage of. Atlantean Marksman, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you'll special summon a level 4 lower Atlantean monster from your deck, except for another Atlantean Marksman. So if it inflicts battle damage, you can special summon Dragoons. Dragoons, all level 3 or lower Sea Serpents are able to attack your opponent directly, so it can be used with Marksman, so Marksman can attack directly to special summon something else. Uh, heavy Infantry, when it's on the field, it allows an extra normal summon of a level 4 or lower Sea Serpent monster. You can use the normal summon of Deep Sea Diva and use Diva's effect to either special summon Marksman or Heavy Infantry. Depending on which one you use, it will depend on the synchro you bring out. Uh, you could bring out Gogdir or Black Rose, or you can bring out Dulor, and I'll get more to Dulor later. When Megalo uses his special effect to special summon himself, he'll add an Abyss Spell or Trap to your hand. So you can add a fist sphere in case something goes wrong with your combo. Here I'll go over some advanced styles and plays. Duloran allows you to return as many face-up cards as you want to your hand to increase this card's attack by 500 each until the end phase. So if you have Duloran on the field and set trap, and that set trap's a bis sphere, use a bis sphere, bring out Lindy, use Duloran's effect on sphere to return to your hand. Lindy will go to the graveyard, which lets you special summon lead. If your opponent has a bunch of back rows and no monsters, and this is your hand, instead of discarding Abyss, Lin Abyss Gong and Marksman for your Megalo, you should just summon the Marksman to bait out, spell to bait out traps they might have against you. Don't get too attached to Spear plus Lindy. You can use Spear to bring out lead in your battle phase to get over big things, or to use it main phase one to bring out something like a level four to exceed your synchro with. Of course, you can also use a bring out something at level seven so you can make big eye. Tidal will let you has an effect where you can discard it and other water monsters send a water monster from your deck to the graveyard. So if you discard Tidal and Abyss Gung and use Tidal's effect to send Megalo to, from your deck to the graveyard. Abyss Gong's effect will go off, allowing you to special summon Megalo. This is Mermel Oshia, and her effect is you can target one Mermel you control. Special summon any number of level 4 or lower Mermels from your deck, whose combined levels are equal to or lower than the selected monster's level. Then send the selected monster to the graveyard. You can only use this of card's effect once per turn. So, let's say they have she and out a Phoenix Chain, and they use Phoenix Chain on your Megalo. Normal summon Abyss Oshia and use your effect on Megalo. Special summon Abyss Lindy and Abyss Spike. Now Megalo will be sent to the graveyard. Attack Lindy into Xi'an. Lindy's effect will special summon Abyss Lead, who can attack over Xi'an. Thanks for watching. What deck should I do next? What videos do you want more of? Deck profiles, how to play, opinion videos. I notice deck profiles, my deck profiles tend to get a lot more views, and I try to expand upon that, so any suggestions or constructive criticisms would really help. Thanks.